Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, let's talk about some dividends, that passive income that's coming into your account for simply doing absolutely nothing. It's money while you sleep. Now, the only thing that you did was invest in a company and now they're paying you a dividend, whether it's every month, every three months, or even every year. Now, we're gonna focus on the dividend itself. We're gonna talk about, hey, I wanna live off my dividends. I want to spend those dividends and pay some bills at the end of the month and uh, just basically live off the dividends. How much money would you really need? Now, I understand there's companies out there that have capital growth and pay out a dividend as well. A good example, in my opinion, is Microsoft. Now, there's Dividend Kings. A good example, in my opinion, is Coca-Cola. Now, I'm sure you have heard the phrase, spend the interest, but not the capital. So we're trying to live off the interest, basically. And so I just want to paint a bigger picture for you guys so you guys can see around how much money I'm using to get these kind of dividend payments if you were planning on spending the interest but not the capital. So I'm not saying, hey, go ahead and buy this, go ahead and buy that. I don't like telling people what to do with their money. I like teaching strategies and things that I do on my account so you guys can see what I do. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you don't. Everyone has a different strategy. Now here with PTY, and I'm gonna use roughly around a uh, $10,000 example to give you an idea as to how much money that's bringing in in dividends, okay? Now remember, if you're starting a dividend portfolio, you can start with any amount, except some strategies might take longer than others. After this, I'm gonna give you different strategies that I like to use. If you've never watched my channel, then you, you want to stick around for it. Now here with 20 shares, I'm using roughly around 300 and something dollars. This one pays 13 cents for each share that I have, and it pays it on a monthly basis. So I get right around $2 and something cents. As you can see, it's really not much. Realty income just paid out a dividend, actually. An investment of a little over $6,000 brings in... $23 and was it 40 cents right here you can see right here now assuming you're compounding the dividends yes these dividends are going to keep increasing each and every month now you can buy even fractional shares you can invest as little as one dollars two dollars so it's like almost getting paid interest on interest on interest each month those dividends keep getting bigger and bigger but remember i'm using a little over six thousand dollars just to make that much money in dividend income each and every month. The next one is, uh, what was it, Gladstone Capital. This one, an investment of around $900, brings in $6 a month. Now, this one, some of them have, you know, very small capital invested in there. It's just a few dollars. It's not much, but hey, it's money working for you, right? Main Street Capital is another one of my favorites. I, actually, this one just paid out a dividend. Let me show you. An investment of just a little over $3,000 brings in $20.50. Now, this is what I got paid on December 15th. So right now, we're roughly around uh, you know $10,000, right? This one, just a few bucks a month. SPHD is one of my favorite ETFs. This one, an investment of $3,800, brings in $15 each month. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? If I wanted to spend that dividend money, then I can just simply take it out of my uh, brokerage account, spend it. I don't know, maybe it'll pay for some bills. A total, I would say around $50, $60, give or take a few each and every month on a $10,000 investment. And remember, this is just on some high yield ones too. Now, let's assume you spend the same uh, amount of money or, yeah, same amount of money on, uh, let's say, Microsoft. Now, Microsoft has capital growth, right? A $10,000 investment on Microsoft, Microsoft pays around, what is it, 56 cents per share. Now, you would have to buy around 50 shares of Microsoft for a $10,000 investment. So that would bring in around $28 every three months. But this one has capital growth. Now, again, if you're starting a dividend portfolio, you might want to get some capital growth if you don't plan on spending the dividends. You want to compound them. But remember, we're talking about just simply living off the dividends if you do want to spend them. Coca-Cola, a $10,000 investment, 
that would be around 200 shares, uh, it pays 41 cents per share. So every three months, you would get around $82 every three months. Now, that one I like for the longer term if I were to invest my dividends, buy and hold, and not spend the dividends. Obviously, I'm trying to grow the account, but using a lot more capital and trying to live off just the dividends, it's going to take quite some time. Now, let me give you another example on a different strategy so you guys can see all this where I'm coming from, right? I like American Airlines as well. It does pay a dividend. It pays $0.10 cents per share every three months. However, on this one, it's a totally different strategy, short-term basis. Now, I have 100 shares of American Airlines, but look at the investment, 1,600 and something right now. And yes, I'm going to be down on capital gains when doing these kind of strategies, but as long as I have the shares in my portfolio, remember about covered calls. Now, let me show you a uh, trade that I did here with uh, American Airlines. Now, I got paid, where is it? There you go. $61 for wanting to sell my shares at $17.50 between now and December 31. Now you can see the money that I got paid is a lot more in uh, you know compared to a $10,000 investment with dividends. This is just to give you a bigger idea as to how you can grow your account as well. Maybe use a different amount of your capital to do different strategies that are pretty much safer in my opinion, you know, selling calls or selling put options. So you can see here, I'm using a lot less money. Now you're gonna say, why don't you just use all your money to do this, right? Well, how do you know I'm not using a lot more money? I am using a lot more money, except you never wanna put all your eggs in one basket either. Now on Robinhood, I'm getting in and out. I'm not really building a position. I like making videos for you guys because I also notice I get more views on Robinhood videos rather than uh, TD Ameritrade. But I'm going to do uh, TD Ameritrade videos as well. Now, let me give you another example. Neo. You guys already know I like Neo. Neo, yes, I've been down on it. I'm actually down right now. But this is nothing compared to how I was down, you know, weeks ago. I was down almost $7,000. If you like a company, keep it. There's other ways of making money while you're holding the stock, assuming you have, you know, at least 100 shares, at least with this strategy that I like to do, which is covered call writing. Now, I have 500 shares. You can see I'm down almost $3,000. But if you've been following my videos, you guys know I like writing covered calls. I've been collecting premium while holding the stock. So there's other strategies out there that will grow your account much, much faster. Use that premium that you collect to buy into, into those dividend-paying uh, companies that you like for the longer term. So it's a faster way of kind of boosting your dividend portfolio. Now, I've done videos on, uh, what do you call it, on selling put options versus buying and holding. Selling put options, to me, it's getting paid for buying the stock that you're looking to buy and hold. So why not make money off of it, right? Of course, this is just my opinion. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Leave a like if you like these kind of videos. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.